In The Screaming Woman, the erosion of the traditional family structure is vividly reflected in the character's sense of isolation and vulnerability. This mirrors the broader societal changes that were unfolding during the early 1970s. At that time, divorce rates rose dramatically, leading to more single-parent households, many of them headed by women. This was seen as part of the breakdown of the conventional nuclear family. The older woman portrayed in the film, played by Olivia de Havilland, feels isolated, a direct reflection of real-world challenges faced by women who now found themselves leading families but still struggling to be heard and respected by their communities and the authorities. De Havilland's character can be viewed as a powerful symbol of this societal shift, representing the fight for recognition in a world still adjusting to the changing family dynamic. A second key theme is the decline in intergenerational living. As more wealth became available, and as women fought for greater independence, families began to shift towards smaller living spaces. Apartments and condominiums became more common, catering to single men and women or small nuclear families. This trend left many elderly individuals living alone, a sharp contrast to earlier decades when it was common for multiple generations to share the same household. In the film, we see this portrayed in the protagonist's isolated life within a large, empty house, while younger generations seek more independent lives in separate, smaller homes. The rise of condominium living reinforced this division between generations, contributing further to feelings of loneliness and disconnection for the elderly. Taken together, these cultural factors, the increase in divorce, the rise of single-parent families led by women, and the decline of intergenerational living, underscore the screaming woman's haunting themes of alienation. The film taps into deep fears of being overlooked and discarded, fears that were becoming all too real for many in a rapidly changing society. Both the screaming woman and the man who cried wolf tap into similar cultural fears, though from different gender perspectives, reflecting the anxieties of individuals who were dismissed and marginalized by society. During the 1970s, the rise in divorce rates led to more single-parent households, often headed by women, which marked a significant shift in the traditional family structure. In The Screaming Woman, Olivia de Havilland's character, an elderly woman struggling to be believed, mirrors the broader societal issue of women's voices being undervalued, particularly as they took on new roles as heads of households. The film reflects the growing sense of alienation experienced by women in a time when family structures were changing, and women were more frequently expected to manage households independently. Similarly, The Man Who Cried Wolf plays upon the same theme of isolation, but from the male perspective. Here, the male protagonist is also dismissed and doubted, reinforcing the cultural fear of losing credibility and respect in a society where traditional roles were being eroded. Both films explore the struggle of individuals, regardless of gender, fighting to have their voices heard in a world that increasingly questions their legitimacy. In both films, the protagonist's sense of isolation is magnified by the decline in intergenerational living, which had become less common in the 1970s. This decline was influenced by the women's movement, the rise of family wealth, and the shift toward smaller living spaces such as condominiums. These smaller dwellings cater to smaller families or single men and women, further eroding the traditional extended family structure. In The Screaming Woman, the absence of family support leaves the elderly protagonist alone and vulnerable, struggling to be taken seriously. In The Man Who Cried Wolf, the male protagonist faces a similar battle for acknowledgement, as he too finds himself isolated unable to depend on family or community support in his moment of crisis. Both films reflect the anxieties of the era, where individuals, whether women in new roles as heads of households or men facing a loss of credibility, grappled with being dismissed and ignored. The decline of the traditional family structure, the shift toward more independent living, and the isolation of older generations all contribute to the deeper cultural fears of being unseen, unheard, and powerless. These fears are central to both the screaming woman and the man who cried wolf, making them gendered counterparts that address the universal human fear of losing one's voice in a rapidly changing world.